Hello guys, how you all doing? Um, I thought I'd do a quick video today showing you how I'm planning on refretting my old guitar. Now this is a pretty old guitar neck, it's got a few few dents there, I don't know if you can see that if I'm in the wrong place. It's got a few dents there in the neck, um, pretty old, it's quite a nice guitar, it's a Gould, there you go, got a bit of light there, Gould, which is a Strat copy. And it's pretty nicely made, quite nice and lacquer, etc. on it. Uh, but um, like I said, it's got old, the frets were worn, and it looked like it had fallen on its face a few times because there was a few with pretty big dents in there. But I've gone on eBay and I've bought a load of new frets here, look. But the problem is, I haven't got any proper tools to do it with. But I'm not going to go out and buy a load of tools because at the moment, with this COVID going on and all that sort of thing, I am pretty low on funds because I haven't been in work. So I'm getting sort of furlough pay, which is 80% of my normal wage, which is not cutting it really. But um, here we go. I've got these tools and what I'm planning on doing is basically removing these, which I've done already. I've done a few. And there's some there. I'm going to show you how I remove them at the minute, which isn't bad. It doesn't sort of damage the neck. I've put all them frets there as you can see. I've put them up against a piece of wood. I've got them going in the right size or whatever. I'm about to move them now. So <laughs> that could be disastrous. I'm going to move them. I'll probably try and try and keep them. There you go. I slid them up there. there so let's try to keep them in order. And the ends of the frets still need, although they they seem to have already been crowned, they haven't been, they're not the exact size. They're a little bit off and, and they're not actually um, tidied up on the ends either, they're still sharp metal etc so I'm going to have to polish them off on the ends. I've got a few different shape files here. I've got a load of different shapes but I think that this triangular file and this flat file might be all I need. I don't know but that's going to be for later when I refret it which isn't going to be this video. This video is just going to be me showing you how to remove them and I have this which basically little Stanley knife after I've taken the fret out, I go through the middle of them and get out any dirt that's in there. That's what you've got to do. Get Make sure there's no dirt in there because when you have the next frets in, you don't want the dirt holding the frets up, not allowing them to go down properly. And on this guitar, if you notice, it's got filler on the end. It isn't exactly a bead on the end. It's the frets are filled on the end. I want to try and keep it like that. So I'm going to have to file down the frets on the end because like I said some are a little bigger than they should be none are smaller than they should be but they're a bit bigger and sometimes I've seen on other videos I've watched you it's best to sort of cut along the side of the fret there frets just in case it rips the lacquer up but on this guitar I started doing that but then I noticed that half of them were sort of slightly lifting in the middle already I mean I wouldn't use this technique I'm doing now on a really nice sort of guitar neck especially some of them got the like softer wood I don't know if it's rosewood or what it is but these ones this one's pretty good like I say it's pretty old my guitar doesn't work it's just been sat around for over a year nothing done to it so this is the only way I'm gonna get it working and I'm gonna show you how I take a knife basically I put some tape on my by the side of my frets like that and then I take this knife which is a really thin bladed kitchen knife the ends snapped off it even which is pretty good because I don't want an end on it anyway and then I sort of cut in I come to the very corner of the fret here I don't know if I can keep you in camera there I come to the very corner down the bottom there and I sort of just try and nip that get the knife under there resting it against my thumb so I'm sort of pretty much just levering upwards like that see and I can lever that up slightly then with the thinner knife and then get my pen knife which is a bit thicker blade but it's a little bit sharp which is what you need and it's like I say it's not the best way to do it but it's the only way I've got at the minute I think it's the best way of doing it like I said get your thumb behind the blade here push it into the corner right into the corner there watch you don't damage the wood though and then just twist it upwards, twist the knife upwards, see and it starts to come up now, it's started to come up and then I can put the knife right in there then and start twisting it up and as you're doing it you've got to be cautious, you've got to be conscious rather of the fact 
that you don't want to rip all the wood up go very carefully and there you go that one came out nice and cleanly none of the board ripped up or anything bit of dirt there and it needs getting here to be honest that was under the fret and then you can sort of, you can just take the tape off then and move it to the next fret up you know just carry on like that and that's how I'm doing it basically and like I said what I'll do then is I get the knife and I will go down carefully and make sure all the dirt is out right up to the you want to turn it around as well turn the board around and go around try and get all just all the little bits of old wood and see some of it's coming out there I don't think you can see a bit of powder fell on there but um yeah and when I put the new frets in like I said some are a bit longer so I want to make sure I get them all in right I think I'll start this end as well because then if anything goes wrong with the size obviously the shorter ones stay in the end it's better if I start with the longest ones and get the long ones done I was thinking of leaving these top ones in because like you know I've not, I don't really play that high up bit there but a couple of these top ones aren't so bad but I haven't really got a tool to level them off like this I could get like a maybe a sanding block or something like that with some sandpaper might do it I don't know but like I said they're all crowned already so I don't know if you do that before you crown them actually I'm not sure but like I said if I them other frets are a slightly lower fret I think so and I mean it wouldn't be wise to sort of mix them because then I'd probably get fret buzz up the top like I said it may not it may not play perfectly but I'm gonna try and get to play as perfect as I can. And like I said, I haven't got I haven't got the hammer either. So what I'm planning on doing, I've seen some people hammer start off the fret. Like get one here, this is too long for here, but they'll put it on. It's one of the top ones, and let's get a shorter one. There you go. Anyway, you put it on, then you some people hammer each end first with a mallet and then tap it along so it goes into there but um, I've got a rubber mallet so I might try that I might try a few different things as I'm doing it but carefully but I haven't really got a different mallet I've got a metal hammer which I don't want to use but what I've thought of doing is maybe getting some cardboard yes these are all loo rolls <laughs> maybe getting two together I'll tape them maybe and putting them against onto the maybe I'll put them onto the fret and tap it try and tap it down on top then maybe put it down a little bit so I can see what I'm doing maybe do a bit at a time like that with the move it as I'm hammering you know or maybe I'll just get a piece of wood and hammer it on top of there I'm not gonna do the metal hammer on top of there because I don't want to dent up the frets but basically that's what I'm doing see that fret come out pretty well it's bent backwards the way it shouldn't be now because how, when you poke it out Maybe I can do show you another one. I don't want to mix that up with my new frets, but one last little fret I'll show you again. Just in case you want to see that. I'm not going to use the thin knife on this one because I don't think I really need to, but sometimes if you can't get under there, you've just got to go careful because don't sort of cut up the bottom edge here if anyone's doing it like that. And like I said, press it with your thumb. Don't put pressure right to the side because if you do, it might just... It might just pop out. This one's proving me wrong, isn't it? I can see the edge of the fret isn't very nice. It's a bit damaged or something, and it's not. The knife isn't going under it, so let's just try and get it. Sod's low on it. I think these it it these tire frets are a little harder. There you go. He's popped up. I'm just gonna try and go along him. Keep moving the knife up the fret as you go. Keep it flat now against it, and there you go. Another one popped out. I don't know where I'll put that other old one now. <laughs> I don't want to mix them up with my new ones and I'm sort of like. I can tell anyway they're bent backwards, these, like I said. And that's him. I've got this rag as well. I've got this piece of wood as I'm doing it. I think I'm going to use this piece of wood to put under the neck as I'm sort of hammering them on in various places. I'll move it up when I need to. Maybe I'll remove the machine heads as well. There you go. I'll probably do another video showing you. How I'm putting them in I may start do a few and then show you if they're successful I'll show you how I'm doing that as well so hope you enjoyed the video if you've got any tips leave them in the comments any tips for me how to put them back in the new frets in 
there you go. See you again in the next one, guys. So long. Take care of yourselves.